Greetings, everyone. Thanks for your time and interest in the topic of this presentation. I will try to go through the results of a recent trial where we intended to evaluate the anticoxidial activity of a phytogenic feed additive in grower broiler chickens. Let's start. When we think about food supply for the increasing population, we have to take into account that the world population is expected to reach 9.8 billion by the year 2050. This is a 2 billion increase. This is helpful for us to dimension future consumer needs and to anticipate challenges, in particular for the poultry industry, as a means to provide affordable, safe, and nutritious products. Additionally, we need to consider that we have a limited space on Earth for crops, grazing animals, and natural resources. Therefore, we need to increase the efficiency of the production systems and to think in innovative ways to preserve resources so future generations will keep the food supply chain active. Oxidiosis in poultry is one of the most economically important diseases, being responsible for loss of performance in commercial operations Global. Typical clinical signs include reduced growth, bloody diarrhea, anemia, and in severe cases, death. Traditionally, strategies to control coccidiosis include the use of ionophores, synthetic drugs, and vaccines. Since their introduction, the worldwide intensive use of anticoxidial drugs has led to the development of resistance resulting in the withdrawal of some of these products. Moreover, increasing legal, legal reg regulations of anticoxidial growth have limited their use. As an alternative to increasing regulations in the use of anticoxidials, the use of vaccines has proven to be a very effective way to induce early immunity through osis recycling in the bird. However, there is still a need to develop new feed additives with anticoxidial activity that follow current regulations and could provide an alternative to conventional anticoxidial drugs, additionally, that could possibly work in synergy with coccidial vaccines. The use of phytogenic additives has become more frequent in commercial operations, as positive results have been observed in performance and health. Phytogenics with potential use in animals are obtained from plants with the ability to store the bioactive compounds in roots, leaves, fruits, seeds. Some of these compounds are being recognized to have a strong antioxidant activity, antimicrobial or parasitic activity, and also as sensory elements that improve the sensorial characteristics. It's in this regard that the present study was conducted to evaluate the anticoxidial activity of a commercially available phytogenic feed additives on broiler chickens subjected to a coxy challenge. Specifically, we intended to compare to commercial ionophores, in this case, salinomycin, and also to simulate the use of a bioshuttle program in conjunction with a coxy vaccine. The trial was conducted in the city of Querétaro, Mexico, with a total of 2,400 male newly hatched Ross 308 broiler chickens. These chickens were weighted at the start of the experiment and then randomly distributed in 60 floor pens with new wood shavings bedding. The temperature inside the house was controlled through wall curtains and heaters. During the first four days of the experiment, light was provided through light bulbs to maintain a 30, 23 our constant light. After the fifth day of the experiment until the end, natural daylight was provided. Daily observations were made regarding general flock condition, temperature, lighting, water, and any unanticipated events inside the rearing facility. Six dietary treatments were created from a basal diet. The basal diet was subdivided and supplemented with the corresponding additives. For the SAL treatment, 60 parts per million salinomycin 
were supplemented from day 10 to the end of the experiment. For both phytogenic feed additive treatments, in this case designed with the layers PFA A and PFA B, both were supplemented with 500 parts per million of the product BioAd. BioAd is a strategic mixture of phytogenics, which main bioactive compounds are obtained from garlic. A five-phase feeding program was employed, and it's important to mention that the experimental facilities are located approximately 1,800 meters above the sea level. Therefore, in order to prevent acidities, feed was restricted. Water was offered at Levitum during the whole trial. This is the timeline of the trial. On day one of the experiment, chickens in the coxy vaccine treatment and PFAB treatment received the live coxy vaccine. On day 12 of the experiment, all treatments except the negative control were orally challenged with a coxy species cocktail. Performance was evaluated at the end of each feeding phase and at the end of the experiment. Lesion scores were performed on day 21, 28, and 35 of the experiment. Finally, skin pigmentation was evaluated using a chromameter on day 49 of the study. Performance and skin pigmentation data were subjected to one-way ANOVA, and when significant, two key tests was used to compare means. Lesion score data were analyzed using Kruskas Wallis test, followed by steel dwas when appropriate. The statistical software used was JMP. N average served as the experimental unit for performance, and individual bird served as the experimental unit for lesion scores and skill pigmentation. Performance results will be presented in tables. On the top of the tables, days of the experiment. To the left, dietary treatments. The small syringes that you can see at the left of the table are used to quickly identify the treatments that receive the coxy vaccine. At 21 days, which is the first performance evaluation after the coxy challenge, we can notice a nice separation between the negative control and the positive control. For body weight, both PFA treatments, phytogenic treatments, were performing well compared to the positive control treatment. And they have a similar performance compared to the coxy vaccine alone and the salinomycin treatment. After 49 days, the chicken supplemented with the PVA were heavier than the coxy vaccine alone, the positive control and the negative control treatments. Body weight of chickens in the PVA A treatment was improved 3.5% when compared to the salinomycin treatment. Body weight of chickens in the PFAB treatment was improved 4% when compared to the coxy vaccine alone treatment. For weight gain, similar results were observed to the ones obtained for body weight. Weight gain of chickens in the PFA treatment was improved 3.9% when compared to the salinomycin treatment, and weight gain of chickens in the PFAB treatment was improved 4% when compared to the coxy alone vaccine treatment. After 49 days, feed conversion ratio was improved in all treatments when compared to the positive control. An average improvement of 14% was observed in FCR between both PFA treatments and the positive control. Additionally, PFAB treatment improved 2.9% the feed conversion ratio when compared to the salinomycin treatment. Similar feed conversion ratios were observed between the salinomycin treatment and the phytobiotic phytogenic treatment uh, A uh, at 21 and 49 days of the trial. Intestinal lesion scores will be presented in this video. In the x-axis, you can notice the days. In the y-axis is the average of lesion scores for the three sections of the intestine evaluated. Nine days post-challenge, the PVA treatment that included the vaccine showed similar reduction in lesion scores compared to the salinomycin treatment and the coxy vaccine treatment. Intestinal lesion scores reduced after the coxy challenge 20, 28 days for all treatments, and by 35 days 
no lesions were detected in the chicken sample. Skin pigmentation is also presented in this figure. In the x-axis, you will see the treatment. In the y-axis, you will see the yellowness measured by the chroma meter. Skin pigmentation of the chickens after 49 days was reduced in the positive control compared to all other treatments. And no difference was detected between the salinomycin, coxy vaccine, and both BFA treatments. Skin pigmentation is expected to reduce when there's a coccidiosis challenge. For Mexican markets, higher yellow skin pigmentation is considered a desirable trait for consumers. Though, lower skin pigmentation equals to lower paid price to the producer. In the present study, the anticoxidial activity of the PFA showed to be as effective as salinomycin, controlling coccidiosis and sustaining growth in broiler chickens, especially when used in conjunction with the coxy vaccine. Though, the results of the present study suggest that the PFA bioag could be used as an alternative to ionophore anticoxidants. Additional studies should be conducted using other commercial ionophores, experimental condition, coxy challenge and type of coxy vaccines to further investigate the anticoxidial activity of phytogenic feed additives. That's all that I have for this presentation. I will be happy to address any questions that the audience might have in the scheduled program sections. Please keep safe and wish you all the best.